Welcome to SQL Server Reporting Services and Business Intelligence Tutorial. In this part, we will learn how to develop mobile reports. So please subscribe to my channel to stay connected. More exciting videos are coming every week. These are simple examples of mobile reports. These interactive mobile reports can be accessible through any standard web browser. It is also accessible through a free mobile application called Power BI. For this example, we will use AdventureWorks DW database. It's a free sample database, you can download it from this URL. Then we need to create data source and data set in SQL Server Reporting Service web portal. You need to have some operating knowledge about SQL Server Management Studio. You can view my SQL Server 2017 tutorial series. Now we are in SQL Server Management Studio. I have already downloaded and restored the Adventure Work DW database. In this database, in the table section, we will find Fact Internet Sales. We are going to use this table for this example. First, we need to create a data source. Select New Data Source give a relevant name connection type SQL Server type the connection string it is a combination of SQL Server instance name and database name click test if successful click create to finish go to dataset folder click new dataset to open report builder data set to require data source i have already created data source so selecting the created data source opening it then click create to create the data set it's showing the table list of our sql server we are going to take data from fact internet sales shipment debt and sales amount click file save select data set ok it will create a new data set in the data set folder here is our newly created data set in this corner click in the corner you will get a menu with this menu you can add it to favorite edit the report builder manage it here you can see we have already selected ship date and sales amount now we need the product information for product information i'm adding product english name relationship auto detect is selected that's main report builder will automatically create relationship between these two tables run the query again new column added english product name save it exit report builder now we are fully ready to design our first mobile report to do it open mobile report publisher in this section we will drag and drop the report tools it's actually graphing tools mainly first we need a time navigator then i am adding a pie chart and a total chart under adding a time chart and time level we want to use year month time range to last year we need to this year also and last month and this month turn on the accent to make it black background we can change the color theme i think it is better you can also change the destination device type you can optimize it for tablet or phone next tab is data here is the report elements we have selected earlier every report element connected with a simulated table or real report we need a real data to add real data click add data report server data set we have created this data set few moments ago data set is added now i am changing the simulated data to real data set
Now let's see how it is look like. We need some changes in the layout. Change it to by row. Let's preview the report. Let all year we are going to preview the year 2014 February and February total sales is $461,000 the top product is road 150 red everything is okay now I am saving report in SQL server web portal give a relevant name sales report may be appropriate name for this report click save close mobile report publisher browse and the report folder it is showing the old version older version of this report maybe i have saved the new version of this report in the different folder let's check it out it's in dataset folder every report should be in the report folder we need to move it to the report folder to do it move select the destination folder select so report is moved to the report folder we need to delete the older one and i also want to view it from my favorite folder so i'm adding it to the favorite a shortcut generated to favorite page that's all for today please subscribe to my channel cause more exciting videos are coming every week